is happening? I am moving to Sydney. This is crazy, it's all happened so fast. It's gonna be spotty, that's all. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I forgot to do an intro um, when I first started and opened this vlog and started filming for it. So I'm just chucking this in the, at the start. So today's vlog is all about me moving. Um, I will further explain it and the plans and everything in the next few clips. Um, so yeah, basically I hope you enjoy this video. It's me moving from Melbourne to Sydney. And I've never been to Sydney before for more than 24 hours. So it's a big move it's a big change but i think i'm ready for it it is monday night it's like 7 30. um i had a really good chat today it breaks my heart to be leaving my dog wherever he is um and i'm getting emotional thinking about it because i'm actually saying it out loud but as soon as we had this conversation and this topic i was all for it i was all about it and i really want to do it and i still do like i'm going i'm doing it so this is about me moving states um obviously with covid and these difficult times you never know what's going to happen and our season here is done i will be applying for a permit tonight and in the next couple of days i'm going to be moving and i'm just that excited like i feel like i'm i'm ready for a big drastic change like when i moved to melbourne it was such a big change and I'm ready for another one because the adrenaline, the experience, the feeling of being outside of your comfort zone, I actually really enjoy that and it allows me to grow as a person. So this is just another step in my life where I'm just going to be growing as a person. And this is just me vlogging the experience of moving and yeah, it's obviously not going to be forever unless you never know what's going to happen. It could be, but the thought process now it's just going to be a couple of months um just while obviously the pandemic and everything down here is so crazy why not take up an opportunity like this so that's what i'm doing and i'm gonna be vlogging my whole experience of a 20 year old moving from melbourne to sydney which is a big move update i have my permit i have my permit i'm able to go to sydney i'm ready to go this is crazy. It's all happened so fast. This has all happened within 24 hours. Um, so many phone calls. Like I don't really have many phone calls. I don't like calling on phone. I much prefer texting, but the amount of phone calls I've had in the past day is insane. <laughs> yes, I'm going to Sydney. I, I don't know what day I'm going. I haven't, I have it planned to go on Thursday. I don't think mum wants me to go that early. I haven't really worked all that out. I just need to book a hotel, um, and all of that. So, it's crazy it's insane how quickly things can get turned around when you really put in the effort and put in the time so i'm really excited for it i don't know why i'm crying but i honestly haven't had any time to just sit and think about it i kind of just saw her and heard the opportunity and i was like i want to do that i want to do it i'm gonna do it i'm just gonna be spotty that's all <laughs> It's gonna be hard leaving him, but I'll see him soon. Hey everyone, so just an update. Today I was looking at flights. I haven't officially booked them yet. I will be booking it tomorrow as well as my accommodation, but I found accommodation and I found flights and tomorrow I'll be booking them. Um, yeah, so exciting times, but nerve wracking times. Mum came in, she left to go to the supermarket and she came in with all this stuff. And I was like, oh, what's this? And she's like, this is for me moving she's like this is just like a little starter pack like when i obviously moved to melbourne like she gave me like heaps of stuff like just starter pack just things that mum mums get you and like you know it's good because i was just gonna go to the supermarket and buy all this myself but she did it for me so i'll show you what she got me have some soap some hand sanitizer definitely will need, need that okay for those of you who know me i'm obsessed with popcorn especially triple butter flavor explosion <laughs> so i've got a lot of popcorn um that's for my washing and some chocolates it's so crazy to think that's all like actually happening. Like when I finish work, I've been working this morning and I'm working till one. So when I finish work is when I'm going to be booking my flights officially, booking my accommodation. I've called them, I've rung them, I've checked that I can go and stay there and I can. So I'm just making all the final bookings and then I just, I got to pack and then I'm pretty much ready to go. All right, I'm going on a walk with Monty because obviously I'm leaving very soon to move. So 
it's gonna be one of our last walks together for a little while um but like i'll see him I'm, it's not like i'm leaving him forever i would never ever leave him forever you hey guys it is happening i am moving to sydney in the suitcase you want me? And I'm bringing Monty with me. And I. I'm gonna miss you so much. <gasps> what is it? Uh oh. It is Friday. I have one, two more full days left of being in Melbourne. It's crazy. I woke up and I'm just like, oh my god. This is what Monty and I do every morning. Hello. <laughs> Our cuddles. Monty. Monty is having a drink of water. Months! So annoying. Monty! I just want to say, like, obviously, this move to Sydney is like an insane decision to make. In saying that, like, I've been like so many emotions like I'm so excited I'm so happy and I'm ready for it but at the same time I'm very nervous and worried Monty tends to look out the window in the video just before he loves to look out the window and just watch people walking by it's weird I haven't oh you're tired I'm honestly thinking to put a movie on oh my god how many times do you want to yawn in a minute I want to put a movie on <laughs> Saturday, I'm leaving tomorrow. We're having a roast dinner tonight for tea and we got some dessert. Monty, don't, no, Monty, no. Wait. Wait. Oh, yum. Don't touch it. Don't, don't, don't. Okay. Mum got me this going away gift. It's a ring. Now, this gem is a moonstone, a pear moonstone. So, Mum was on my eyebrows. I was going to start putting them and this happened. Monty tripped over the court. <laughs> so Monty was out the back crying. We didn't know what happened. He came back inside and then he stepped in this stuff that we're using to remove the wax. I don't know. Something. Anyway, he stepped in it. And then he was out the back crying, lifting his paw up like this. You right? And now I've got him in the bath and he lied down. So now his whole body's wet. But yeah, I don't know what he's doing. Look at your nose. <laughs> Look! <laughs> oh no, it's 26 kilos. Three kilos over, I don't know what to do. Maybe the scales are broken, but I'm just gonna risk it. Maybe they're gonna be nice to me tomorrow and let me have it, or I just pay for extra. Don't know. Today is the day. Oh my god. And yes, my hand is shaking. I don't know if I'm cold or if I'm nervous. I think it's a mixture of both because it is cold in my room right now. It's go time. I'm all packed. Now my goal for today, not to cry. <laughs> I've already cried once. And I'm tearing up right now. second test back and obviously it was negative you know i want this opportunity i really do so that's why like i'd be upset for leaving but i mean I don't know. 